Thousands of Ethiopians from almost all walks of life are represented here. They are looking to find amicable and peaceful solutions to the country's current socio-economic and political problems through a national dialogue. The purpose of, of the dialogue in itself is to create the conducive environment for all these different ideas uh, that are contradictory which, with, with each other. The Ethiopian National Dialogue Commission says this platform is historic for the nation. It's not a, a negotiation between the elites. The political parties are part and parcel of the process, the elites are part and parcel of the process, but all in Sindari, the entire people, are represented by people they have trusted and given their representation to be present and uh, represent them in the, in the dialogue process. So it is a very historic moment. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed asked parties at the dialogue to be ready to give and take for a better Ethiopia. We have to be ready for consultation, for a dialogue, for a give and take. When we say consultation, it means something that brings an outcome which makes all of us winners. But war cannot do that. If one wins over another, the defeated will try to take down what they assume is the enemy. It is simply is a vicious cycle. We cannot kill each other forever. We need to sit down and solve our issues once and for all. There are many parts of society present. We're not going to put any political agenda to this national dialogue. Rather, we are ready to contribute our part uh, for the successful completion of this national dialogue to uh, bring some uh, important uh, pillars for uh, a nation building. We would like to participate in a calm and responsible manner, taking into account the future of Ethiopia. We will contribute with a lot of attention, an open heart and support to pass a better Ethiopia to our children. You have your own interest, you have your own uh, thinking, and I have mine. But in concern of uh, the, the country, we are in Ethiopia. We, see, we want to see Ethiopia to be in a, a higher position in Africa. So we are concerned with our, we have, we have our responsibilities. Still, armed groups in parts of Ethiopia seem to be avoiding taking part in this national dialogue. Some say the process is exposed to government manipulation. One of the serious challenges, which is the armed groups, how to include them into the uh, peaceful process of the national dialogue. There has been experiences in Ireland, in Colombia, and we shall deal with these issues going to all the extra mile to, to, to have uh, all these uh, armed groups uh, represented and seeking truth through peace. The government assures that the national dialogue is a fair, independent and trusted process and calls armed groups to take the opportunity. My final advice to those who are hesitating to take part in this discussion is not to squander this opportunity. If you lose this, it will be difficult to get it again. But now there is a government whose heart is open and ready to listen, to even lose and to accept any better idea for the good of our country. Therefore, I call on all parties not taking part in this dialogue to join us. The Ethiopian National Dialogue Proceedings will be held in each region of the country where there are participating stakeholders to the process and talks might take weeks or even months to conclude. The Commission is adamant that there can never be a solution to Ethiopia's current political or economic differences other than dialogue. Grumjala Sijitian, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.